Hey guys, welcome back to the Fairway Performance Channel. Uh, my name is Sean Dykoff, and today I'm coming to you again from beautiful Port Royal Golf Course, which is my home golf club here in Bermuda, uh, while my family and I are currently living here. Now, today I wanted to share three, a uh, three exercise warm-up that I utilize before I go out on the course or before I hit the range uh, for a little range session up here. And we're gonna look at addressing three areas of the body. So the hips, the low back and the hamstrings, and also the thoracic. And the reason I love to just go bang, bang, bang and hit these three different areas is because most golfers fail to warm up at all, um, but they just have no structure in their warm up. And by providing a little bit of structure as to go the hips, the hamstrings, the low back and the thoracic, at least we're hitting the three main areas which will cause back pain and cause all sorts of swing characteristics or swing uh, issues out on the course uh, and cause you to have a you know a pretty bad time or, or even lead yourself to injury. So the three exercises that we're gonna go through, the, the first one uh, is a super basic one and this is a lunge with a thoracic rotation. So I'm just using my golf club uh, for this one. I'm gonna take a step forwards into a lunge, keeping my back leg and my front leg at 90 degrees. And then I'm gonna rotate, and this is internally rotating this hip as I rotate this way. And then keeping that knee there, rotating to the other side and getting a little bit of internal uh, rotation to the other hip and also a little bit of a stretch into the hip flexor. So internal rotation, rotating that way. So that would be one repetition going down, rotate side to side. Uh, then I would go to the other side, front knee at 90 degrees, back knee at 90 degrees, internal rotation, and then rotating the other way. Okay, so that one's just a, a lunge with a thoracic rotation. Alrighty, the next exercise. So uh, with that one, we've just hit the hips uh, and we've also hit a bit of thoracic. The next exercise is the uh, reverse toe touches. So with this one, we're looking at the low back and the hamstrings, and it's a simple squat with a, a lift of your bum or a bum raise. So setting my feet up fairly wide, uh, and with most people, it's gonna look very different for this one. Uh, for some, you may only be able to get your fingers underneath your toes and then like a little bit of a squat. Essentially, then we're gonna come up, push your bum side to side, and get a stretch for the hamstrings, okay? Over time, the way that's gonna look, fingers underneath your toes, you're gonna to be able to get your bum really low, your chest up really tall. This is really hitting my adductors, hamstrings, and my groin. And then raising your bum, turning side to side. And you can spend as much or as little time as you like with this one. Um, but essentially, I'm just trying to knock out a few repetitions until my hamstrings feel a bit looser. It's gonna, uh, by default, uh, just open up your lower back a little bit or just release the lower back a little bit. Uh, because we're stretching the hamstrings, which is a, a big cause of tension through the lower back, okay? The last exercise uh, that we're gonna do is a deep lunge and a thoracic rotation. So this one's a little different to the first one that we did in that we're holding a golf club and we're rotating side to side. With this one, it's gonna be a similar thing, okay? Big step forwards, okay? With this one, I'm getting my left knee uh, is out in front. I'm gonna get my left elbow and try and reach it to the floor and then rotating it up to the sky. Okay, so this one's a little more dynamic as we go through it. So stepping forwards, elbow to the ground, elbow up to the sky. Okay, now what I promised was this, with this uh, little video was to obviously cover off on the three areas of the body. So I really just tried to focus it on those three specific ones. So we could hit the hamstrings, the hips, the lower back and the thoracic, okay? So most, uh, or all of those exercises are, are covering off on at least a couple of those things. Now, how would you structure it in terms of sets and reps? Uh, that's a very good question that I hear you asking uh, and many other people have asked before. Um, so with a warm up like this, it depends on how much time you have, but for me on a warm day, I've trained this morning, those factors coming into consideration, I would go through two rounds of that. And what I would do for the lunge with the thoracic uh, rotation holding the club uh, is I would do five per side or I have already done five per side today. Uh, then for the um, reverse toe touches, so sitting down into the squat, raising my bum, I'm just doing five of those, but I'm going side to side uh, twice as I reach the top. Okay, so spending a little more time uh, actually stretching the hamstrings, but doing lesser repetitions. Okay, and then the last one uh, that we just talked about, which was the deep lunge and thoracic rotation. With that one, uh, I'm just doing five per side also. Okay, so keeping it fairly short, concise, uh, really just targeting those areas that I wanna uh, maximize for my warm up right now um, because I've already trained today. 
if I was, uh, you know, in a colder climate or you're in winter or, you know, hitting the first couple of balls, if you feel like, you know, your wrists are going to break because it's so freezing cold outside, um, you'll go through it faster. So you just treat it as a more dynamic warm up and you would potentially do three to four sets and, and waiting until your heart rate really raises, um, you know, feeling a little out of breath or at least like having to take breaths a little faster than you normally would uh, or starting to feel a little bit of sweat uh, come up uh, as, as you start to go through it. So hopefully those three exercises, uh, the demonstrations, the examples have just highlighted uh, some of the things that you can be doing for your next range session uh, or before you uh, warm up to go and play. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, I'm just starting out creating a whole bunch of these videos. So I'd appreciate if you click the like button below, uh, subscribe to the channel so you see future videos. And if you have any ideas for future videos or content which will help you, then you can of course just leave a comment uh, below and I'll be reading every single one of those or reply to every single one of those. Uh, and I'm gonna use it to form the basis of creating some more content in the future just for golfers like you.